Again, YouTube, and hello again, Gemma Thor. This is like a couple of minutes after I've just done the last one, but again, hope you're feeling better soon. This one's for you. Um, now I'm here not with a Transformers review. I am here with to review DC Lego stuff because I have recently acquired some DC Lego stuff, and. I think it is pretty sweet. Now, this isn't a Transformers review, but it, the um, reasons for me buying this DC Lego stuff is because of Transformers, basically. Um, Transformers, actually, the Transformers are so Christmas special that was supposed to they air in 2009, but didn't air until early to mid-2010 because I was going through shit at the time. There's an appearance from Batman. It wasn't actually Batman, it was one of my microaggression wrestlers, Mr. Kennedy actually, covered in a plasticine Batman outfit. Now, I will be returning Batman to my Transformers the Soap series. It'll be an actual Batman. That is, um, he's got, that's old jetpack type thing, it's pretty cool. It um, came with, I will, you know, I'm just going through the BG of why I do this. Doctor Who the Magnus Years, meet Ron, the second episode, there is a scene where someone calls out for Superman, and you know, I decided to be different and actually have Superman show up, as opposed to just wishful thinking. That is why I bought Superman. Now these things individually are expensive on eBay, between 7 and 10 quid. I um, got this from Argos with the um, Lex Luthor exosuit. It's got a little Lex Luthor inside as well. It's pretty cool. I um I've got a, quite a few nifty little things. The Batwing I didn't buy because I wanted to use it in a video. I just bought it because it looks sweet. It really did. Um yes, so that is basically the reason why I bought them. And I um oh Wonder Woman also came with the um Superman and Lex Luthor thing. Um. I'll go through them in the order that I bought them, I think. Suffice it to say, that would be make more sense. I'm still waiting for the Batcave to go down in price, because that's like 80 quid. So, we start off, and we've got Superman. The Man of Steel. Now, what I like about these Lego fellas is these ones. They're not yellow. One of the big things that has put me off using Lego characters as standard humans in my videos is because they're yellow. This is a Transformers parody, not The Simpsons. He's got a nice little cape. Um, his cape, I don't know what his cape's made out of. I think it's fabric, but you can, you know, you can manipulate it just by folding up a little bit. Uh, when it's flying, it looks like it's fluttering, which is pretty cool. Um, points of articulation, they're Lego men, their heads move their arms and stuff and their legs go up like that. So yeah, that's pretty much, I'm not going to go into points of articulation on the figures themselves, except to say, if you pull off his hair, the, some of them, Lex Luthor being the exception, have two faces. So I hate to think what two faces is like. Um... Alright, so let's just put his air back on. There you've got Superman in his frowny, yeah, I won't let evil win, truth, justice, American way, and all that shit. And then you can turn his head around and replace his hair, which covers the back of his head so well, and now... He's grinning. He's got some smug sort of like, ha 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 ha, 
you can't beat me baddies because I'm Superman type of look and that's pretty cool I think because you know you've got multiple facial expressions so you can just you know if you want to like completely fuck with someone's head like if I have a visitor over I can just have him looking like that there you go I don't know to use the bathroom and then I just flip the head Superman missed you because I'm weird like that with the um, Superman which that's the only reason I bought this set was for Superman everything else was just a bonus you have Wonder Woman scowling because she's angry because her lasso of justice doesn't really deliver much justice um, you know, paint job on Wonder Woman could have been better could have painted the back of her legs I don't know but I'm, I'm not gonna complain um, the character building sets the Doctor Who character building they are um, a lot different they have molded features and stuff like noses ears and <clears throat> breasts but you know with Wonder Woman like with Superman Superman she's scowly but you can pull her hair off her wig and now she's got that whole come to me Superman I want you Superman which apparently he did come to her if you go by the latest comics they're actually romantically involved now. Bit of a departure from Lois and Clark. The whole thing, not just the um, Dean Cain series, which I have on DVD. It's pretty cool. I'm rambling. But yeah, it's something new. I mean, it's been done non-canonically a couple of times, as far as I know. Because I remember seeing this thing where Superman was in a wasteland and he... Um, got it on with Wonder Woman and then it was basically Krypton all over again and he sent their child off to a planet to basically continue the legacy but yeah that's Wonder Woman with skin coloured sleeves I'm being pedantic now I apologise ow my legs are not like shields of steel Bastard thing. Which brings me to the big thing. This. The Lex Luthor exosuit. Which, I'll admit, is pretty damn nice. It's got Lex Luthor in the cockpit. I'm, I'm not going to take him out. He has the um, Lego bump on his head. My son had one of those when he was born because of the Von Tooskap thing. Rambling again. But that there's a nice blend here of, um, what's the word for not translucent? There's translucent plastic, and then there's the hard green plastic that you can't see through. Um, great articulation on this thing. Um, I'm not going to go into too much posability with it because it is Lego. It falls apart. It is built to be built. Oh uh, yeah. A lot of cool articulation. You've got this green tube thing there and the claws. And then, but well, I'm actually, I'm gonna have to, I might have to take this gun off just to show you this little beauty. I'll take the gun off because if you can see inside there, there is. A chunk of Lego Kryptonite, which I think is fantastic. I mean, they've gone all, they could have bitched out with that and done a little sticker or something like that, but no, there is. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. I am in the mood for taking this thing out. Check out that. It's probably nothing to you, people. It's probably insignificant 
But that is Lego Kryptonite. And I fucking love it. Because I am a man of simple needs. It does not take much to please me at all. I'm going to build his gun up now. And I will continue chattering. I can ramble at this bit freely. Because I have no obligation to shut the hell up. I think I'm getting this right. Um, no, no, no. No, no. So yes, there is um, there are more other bits. I want. Oh, I'm getting a Robin. Just so I've got Batman and Robin and Nightwing. I I played the Lego Batman game when I was when it was on the PS2, and we didn't have the Lego Batman toys and stuff until very recently. And this game, this Lego Batman game, came out. When Bradley, my son, was a baby, and he started school last Friday. Proud daddy. And, you know, I'm just glad they're out now, because and they've extended it to not just Batman, but to the whole DC universe, which I think is sweet. Um, Of course, if I get a Green Lantern, that presents green screen problems for flight. Well, yeah, it's all back together now. But I'd start to show that kryptonite. Lego Kryptonite, you probably don't give a damn, but I just think it is just, just the simple little touches like that. <clears throat> okay, the second set I got was just a little cheap set, nothing big in this. You got that um, Batman in the grey and blue suit, um, you know, classic comic book type suit, but with the jetpack. Um, I won't mind picking up another one that had... Um, that has, what do you call it, uh, a cape. God. Now, like the others with Batman, he's got two little batarangs as well. So you know, he's got batarangs there, pretty cool little batarang things. And his nice little, go into detail with his jetpack a bit. He's got a nice little translucent bit of Lego there on the bottom and stuff and they're detailed well that they're, they're drawn on they're painted on but you know that's the same with the doctor who character buildings with the others like the others with batman you can change from scowly batman To the whole grinning, <laughs> I'm Batman. So, you know, of course, the problem is taking the helmet off the Batman cowl. In order for the eyes to seem white, he has normal eyes. But he has a white headband. And because of the placement of the moulding of the mask. Like that. The eyepieces for the mask will sit over the headband. Giving it the white eye effect. Now that kind of rules out. Using this as Bruce Wayne. You can't really have any half Batman half Bruce scenes with this particular one even if you put hair on it I will use Superman's hair for example still got the white headband he looks like Batman's gone down the gym so yeah that's a little drawback to that I can understand why it's been done but why give him eyes in the first place if they're going to do that. Well, you know, that's me nitpicking. Um, now, you can give him, you can give the Batman mask to Superman if you want to play a prank. Now, Superman's forehead isn't white. It's the normal skin colour. You can't tell here. Hell, I can barely tell. I can't even tell, really. Because of the... Sh shadow and st stuff 
which kind of again begs the question why but you know credit to him for thinking that little thing through I think there are Bruce Wayne figures out there you could always bang Bruce Wayne's head onto Batman's body and do it that way it's just you know if you want to go for a whole reveal it wouldn't work it would require editing now this Batman came with a street corner yeah, it's just a nice little Lego street corner ironically it came with Catwoman as well I'm not joking you've got the traffic light that wobbles and stuff and I think that goes that way yeah you've got your traffic light which is cool you've got your little bin and your lamp post and then you've got two little slabs it won't focus enough but that says the Lego news it's like a little newspaper corner street corner it's not bad if you had more city it would look better and I don't have a lot of city so right now basically <coughs> the full extent of my Gotham City is this I haven't even got room for this city like I said it came a Catwoman it came on her little Catwoman cycle now granted she isn't as hot as Anne Hathaway but still pretty decent um, Miss Selina Kyle here came with a um she's got a nice little cat so there's some nice purple and silver on there she's holding a diamond that she's nicked bad girl now with Catwoman she has a full like mask thing underneath so you know if you wanted to I don't know take Wonder Woman's hair off you know you, you, you've got a decent kind of mask there if you didn't want to go the full cat hood so you know that's a plus in my opinion just not with Wonder Woman's hair because she's got the whole gold headband thing going on same with this she's got a face on the back so yeah to give her a hair you could have that face however when you put the mask on the eyes are mostly obscured she looks a bit boss eyed so I'll just keep it like that the little cat woman cycle, oh she's got a whip as well she's got a little cat woman whip that um you know she can do the whole thing that didn't go so well did it I think I don't think the actual motion justified the which that I did the um little catwoman whip can get tangled up in my hair and also sit in these little pieces here it um yeah it's a nice little bike actually the wheels go brum brum nicely enough it stands well on its own Let's see if you can see that can you see it? <laughs> I don't know uh, let's... there you go my legs hurt, I'm gonna pull it up now so yeah it stands up pretty well and then you know it's not rocket science, it's got handlebars on the inside, you just slot her in and then bosh her in like that. And then she can go do -do 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 -do. traffic lights. But would she stop? No, she goes straight through them and then Batman with his little glider coming through. And that'd be the end of that story. Because she'll either, she'll either get caught and Seduce him into letting her go, or she'll escape, and um, Batman will cry. Which brings me to my um, 
final set. Which is... I bought it for this. I got the bonus of this in the box as well. However, what I wanted it for... The Batwing. And this is nice. It is pretty slimline. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, don't fall off. And I've got to be careful how I hold it. It's pretty slimline. It's not bulky at all. And it is, it is bloody nice. Um, you've got this thing where you can split the top of the wings. So I think that gives it more thrust, you know, so if, if it's gliding or something like that, if he, cut, he wants to go stealth mode, cut the power out, has only got to lift these, and then you haven't got the roaring engines because it can glide like that, or something, I'm guessing, that's theory. <laughs> He's got his nice little Lego thing, little Lego flame thing there that's translucent, and you can almost see my face through it. He's also got to be pull up this little panel then you can um, and it shoots out a little homing missile thing that you know I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't set the homing missile to target my mouse pad so it's not very good but within the context of a toy yeah I'll cut it some slack now how did you go on I know how it was like that, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was. Cough. Um, I've lost his homing missile. That really does suck. And I'm dropping my microphone out. There it is. Dropping, falling everywhere. I don't like that kind of thing. So I can't remember how this goes on. I should have shown you that. Um, <sighs> ah. Bingo. Done. So, if you lift up the cockpit, there is another little Batman. Now, this one only came with one Batarang. However, he has a cloak, a cape, and it's a bit bent, but it has the bat ridges in. It is, this looks like the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. There you have it. Like I said, his cape needs ironing. It's been folded up inside the bat wing, but the cape's got the nice little ridge, de the um, web detail and stuff. It just, you know, it's my favourite of the Batman, the two Batman ones that I've got. Um, same principle with the mask. You know, it's got the headband and stuff. You can switch his head around and do the smiling hair thing. But yeah, that, real pleased with that, the black Michael Keaton Batman. I just hope they don't re-release one with bat nipples like Val Kilmer or George Clooney. So, I tend to be straying a little off course here. So I'm going to put him back in there and get cracking onto the... Sit down! I don't care if you Batman sit down. To the last one. Funnily enough, he doesn't reach the um, controls. But he's tucked safely away in there. Get on! Caffeine high. I'm overtired now. It's 20 to 2. So, yeah, that way. This. Something I wasn't expecting. I didn't realise I was getting this until I went in and bought it. Joker helicopter. 
Now this is also impressive. It's got rolly spinny propeller thingy. Oh, and I didn't even realise it. It's also got a big red button at the back that, and you just shoot it, and it shoots out this funny face little clown missile thing doesn't go very far but it's you know this it's the thought that counts so he is now top safely away yep we've got joker hanging off the rope ladder nice little touch for the um 89 film again as well this joker um to me seems like a mix of like you know your average comic book joker but the outfit seems a touch Heath Ledger-ish I'm trying to get it in the light you know with the checkered shirt and stuff um it could be like that in the comics I don't know but it just you know it seems like a nice little modern thing and he also has a different face so you take his hair off he's got his big maniacal grin and you can turn his face around and he's got a closed mouth smug fucker look on him he's like yeah I'm the Joker of course I think everyone's gonna go for the open mouth one because you can't talk much trash with a closed mouth. So that would be the Joker. And yeah, back to the copter. One thing I will say, these Legos over the character building, the construction is better. The um, parts are more robust and more flexible at the same time. Easier to handle and all that bollocks. Inside, there is a Joker goon. I'm not going to take him out. He only has the one face, that's because he's bald. The hat wouldn't cover the back of his head properly. And he also doesn't reach, although you could if you want to spin him around a little bit. So yeah, this is basically me playing with toys, isn't it, on camera? Yeah. Let's put Mr. J back. Mr. J! I'm going to kill you, Batman, and take you to Mr. J. <sighs> you didn't hear that. You either hang on to the ladder or you fall to your death. Good, Mr. J. Right, so, Mr. J's back on there. So, quick swig of my coffee. In conclusion, they rock. Some good things in there. Some stuff I wasn't expecting, like the Mr. J helicopter and Mr. J. I wanted the Batwing. It was going to cost me 12 quid ish for Superman on his own, or I could get him for 20 quid with that and with Wonder Woman. It's an easy decision, really. Um, Batwing, I love. Street Corner with Catwoman there's something going on there I don't want to get into that right now like I said there are other ones I want to get like there's two faces Lair and I think and Riddler and you know, there's a bat cave that took ages to build and um yeah, I don't mind getting Harley Quinn just so I can make Gemma Thor if that is your real name I don't feel jealous but Maybe one day. Um, for now, though, my, my head isn't really set. I'm pretty much set for what I want right now. I will, you know, consider other things later. Because I've just gone and bought, I've just gone out on this last week or so, I've gone and got the Silence console and the Dalek spaceship for my Doctor Who stuff. So, I've been going on for half an hour just talking about Lego. 
and other insignificant bollocks. So, this is Desiris Prime again. I was going to do my character building one straight after, but there's a lot to go through, so I will leave that one. Yes, um, DC review, I've just done my Wolverine review, I've got a Primus review to go up, I've got to do Soundwave, Drift and Unicron, and then my character building stuff. You will be seeing me next time, and the time after that, and the time after that, and so on and so forth. Goodbye.